Ciao dudes! Uh, welcome, today we're going to be doing a ravioli, a spinach and ricotta ravioli, and we're going to do it vegan, and we're going to make our ravioli from start. We have our pasta roller, and I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful um, vegan pasta from scratch. So this is one of the, the challenges of it, like when you look at fresh pasta, fresh pasta typical ratio is 100 grams of fresh zero zero flour, uh, and there'll be one egg, uh, and we want to make this eggless. So that's normally the relationship, and if I go a little bit technical, just to show you how I would research this, is one egg is typically 50 grams in weight. Of that weight, five grams of it is fat and six grams of it is protein. So, so if I was making the equivalent of about 350 grams of fresh pasta dough, using traditional recipes, I'd have 250 grams of zero, zero flour and I'd have two and a half eggs. So what the egg brings to this dish is it brings water, it brings fat, and it brings protein, which differentiates from traditional pasta. So say normal pasta like this is just water and it's durum wheat uh, semolina flour, and that's it, and there's a bit of salt in it. Versus this one, normally, there's zero, zero flour and there's an egg. And what the egg brings is it brings water, it brings protein, and it brings fat. And that's what I have to do when I want to re replicate and create a really, really good vegan version of this pasta. So just again, to go back to my ratios, if I'm going to make about 350 grams of fresh pasta dough, that would be the equivalent of about 250 grams of type 00, zero flour. There would be 2.5 eggs. The eggs are 50 grams in weight, uh, in terms of, so I'd have to go 85% of that 50%. I'll take out my calculator. Oh, wait. So if I'm going to work that out, so a weight, an egg is 50 grams in weight, if I multiply it by 0.85. So 42.5 grams of an egg of a 50 gram eggs is water content. So if I go that by 2.5, so I need to add 106.25 mil of water to create a something, something similar. So 106.25 mil to create water content. So an egg, if you see over in this one, it's five grams of fat per egg. So if I was using two and a half eggs, there would be 12.5 grams of fat. So I gotta get 12.5 grams of fat into my pasta. So I think what, the easiest way to do this is just simply add some olive oil. So I'll add like one tablespoon of olive oil. Everyone with me? Yeah? Okay. Uh, next bit, protein. So there's six grams of protein per egg. In total there will be six, twelve, and three, fifteen. So it's fifteen grams of protein. So I gotta get fifteen grams of protein into two hundred and fifty grams of flour. So are you with me? So the simple way and the easiest way that I think that's the most achievable is to use gram flour. Gram flour, if you're not familiar with it, it's chickpea. It's also known as Asana flour, I believe is the other name for it. Uh, but chickpea flour, let me show it for you here. It has a lovely yellow color to it. It's 22 grams protein per 100 grams. So it's 22% protein. So it's quite naturally high in protein. And simply by adding that, I know we've often made pancakes with this and it really adds a wonderful egg-like texture. So if I suddenly start to introduce possibly about a quarter of my batch um, with gram flour, it's gonna bring protein, it's gonna bring a more yellow color and it's gonna add more richness to this dish. So I have to get 15 grams of protein. Gram flour is 22 grams per 100 grams. I'm doing two and a half kilos of flour. So if a, a simple basic metric is if I go 175 grams of zero zero flour, I go 75 grams of gram flour, I go one tablespoon olive oil, and I go with um, water, 106.25 mil water. That is my basic recipe with which I'm gonna make beautiful vegan fresh pasta that is equally as good as a fresh one using eggs. So here we go. So I've weighed out my ingredients. I have 175 grams of zero zero flour. Zero zero flour refers to the fact that it's ground much finer and it also is flour or germ wheat flour which typically has a lower gluten structure and less protein so it's not gonna develop more elasticity. It's gonna have more bite as opposed to a chew in our pasta. So 175 grams of that. And then I have 75 grams of gram flour. In it goes. Don't worry if the gram flour has a slight beanie taste to it. It will cook out of it. I'm gonna mix those two together. Make a nice well or like little hole in the center. I have one tablespoon of olive oil. That's gonna add in our fat. Again, any Italian out there, this is vegan fresh pasta. I don't want it simply to be flour and water, so I do apologize, but this is something different. Excuse me, breaking the rules. I have 160. 106.25 ml of water, in that goes. 
And again, I'm gonna slightly dust my flowers and slowly push it in from the side. And then I'm gonna get my claw in there and just move it. Once it's all incorporated, I'm just gonna pour it out in our counter here, and we're gonna knead it for about seven to eight minutes, just until it starts feeling smooth and all together. Don't worry if there are any loose bits like this, it's all gonna to come together. Okay, so we've kneaded our dough for about five minutes. It's come together really nice. You'll see it's a bit like, I don't know if you grew up having Play-Doh or having, in Ireland we had this thing called Mola. I don't know if you're Irish or you can remember that. Or Play-Doh, we used to play with that loads and it really feels like that, like you could make a nice shape of it. It feels like it's come together to a beautiful dough. So we're gonna cover this with a little bit of cling film or else plastic wrap or cellophane wrap, I think it's close to close the pond. And we're gonna leave it rest for about five to 10 minutes while we make our fillings. Just cover it like that and we're gonna put it in the fridge. Yeah. So time to make our fillings. Uh, we're gonna make a spinach and ricotta ravioli. So for our spinach, we have 200 grams of washed baby spinach. I have a pan on high heat. I'm gonna add in a little bit of water. And I'm gonna add in our spinach. And put a lid on top. And we're gonna leave that for about three to four minutes, just stirring occasionally, just to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom and just allow it just to wilt down. Uh, while that's happening, I'm gonna make our vegan ricotta. And you might go, ricotta, how the hell do you make? Ricotta. So we're gonna make just a simple cashew cream with a little bit of garlic through it. Um, I've soaked 250 grams of cashew nuts overnight. If you forget to soak them, just boil them for about an hour. Uh, and they should reach a point where you can crush them with your thumb like that. That's kind of a nice indication. So 200 grams of soaked cashew nuts becomes 350 grams when soaked. Everyone go with that? Okay, great. Into our blender, high-speed blender, a food processor if you don't have it, 350 grams of cashew nuts. And they go. I'm gonna go with a general, a nice kind of pinch of salt. Not too much, but just a nice pinch of salt. I'm gonna go with 200 grams of water. I'm gonna put in a little bit of garlic powder. Do you like garlic? I like garlic, okay. I'm gonna put about half a, a teaspoon of garlic powder. It's just gonna add a nice note of garlic without having to kind of go cooking garlic. Put the lid on. And blendy, blendy, here we go. Okay, we've blended the cream cheese or our ricotta until it's lovely and smooth. You'll see it's real silky texture. There's lovely flavor in it, nice and runny like a ricotta. Uh, you'll see our spinach has wilted down beautifully. Looks great. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain a lot of the moisture from that so this dish doesn't become all sloppy. So I've got a sieve and I've got a bowl. I'm just gonna pour the spinach into the sieve. So we just wanna squeeze a bit of that moisture out of it. Okay, so we've kind of we've kind of squished a load of the, the juices out of the spinach. I drank it actually, it was um, pretty rough, but very good for me. So in goes our wilted spinach. Looks great, nice and green. Popeye would be proud. Next step, let's take our ricotta. Okay, so we've got our ricotta, and we've got our spinach, mix it together, and we've got our filling. This will be lovely and creamy, and it'll complement the kind of soft richness of our fresh pasta. Okay, filling ready, boom, pasta left soaking. Time to bring on the pastry chef. Okay, so we've got an extra, a super cool guest here today. He's flown in from, where was it, Sicily? No. Okay, he came with me. Okay, come on in, my little man. Okay, this is my son, Theo. Theo helped me make um, ravioli last night, and he's in the video to replace David Flynn. Okay, so we have our filling done. We have our pastry or our pasta from the fridge. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, what do we do now? We chop it up and then we, then we roll and then put it in here, then twist Okay, this. beautiful, okay. So we're gonna break it into half initially just to make it easier, aren't we? So you'll see lovely color, looks very much like fresh pasta. We're gonna just roll it out a little bit thin. So when you're making ravioli, you'll always go to the widest. So you'll have a various settings, which you'll see there, can you see? I don't know if you can see in the camera, but it goes wide to close. So you'll always start with the widest setting first. And we're gonna roll it out a little bit. We're gonna just put a little bit of flour through here, you ready? Flour, roll it around, just to stop it sticking. We're gonna put a little bit of flour down on our work surface to dry up any bit that's dried up or got wet. We're gonna roll our dough a little bit. Okay, so we've squished it in a little bit just to make it easy to go in. We have it in our widest setting. Theo, you ready? Yeah. Okay, that's it, keep going, keep going. So here's our... Is it hard? Yeah. yeah you're doing great. Good job, this is always the hardest bit. It's 
Okay, so we've got a nice one. That's the widest set and we're gonna go in one. And again, you ready? Go for it. So this is just rolling it thin enough so that our ravioli is quite delicate. We're gonna put a little bit of flour just in case it starts to dry up a little bit. Yeah, you wanna do it? Great. Good job. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. Really nice. Okay, so we've rolled up. We're, gonna, we're now on level three. Normally a ravioli or a pasta roll of this will have kind of six to 10 settings. This one only has six, so it makes it a little bit quicker. And um, don't be kind of lured into the idea of skipping a setting. Your pasta is much more likely to tear, tear and then you have to go back to the beginning. So just slowly work through all the levels. So should we chop this in a minute? Yeah, that's a good question. Okay, so Tia's asking the question, should we chop it in a minute? So you'll see it's getting a bit long to kind of handle and we're kind of getting a bit, um, it's just getting a bit harder to work with. So don't be afraid of just cutting it in half. Do you want to chop it in half? Yeah. I'll do it, I'll do it. No, I will Okay, you want to do it? Yeah. Okay, just chop it in half. Just makes it slightly easier to work with. Ready again? So we're into level four now. Okay, we've moved away our, um, our roller, our pasta roller, just to make it a little bit easier. We're gonna just dust down our counter. We've got four lovely little snakes, don't we, Theo? No, worms. Worms, okay, we've got four worms, okay. Okay, so it's time to make a ravioli. Okay, so we've got our filling here. We're gonna just lay it out, just to show how simple it is. And again, you have to decide what way you want your ravioli. We're gonna pop them down in the middle here. We're gonna try yeah, to keep it can. nice little tight balls. Okay, see, so you can only really work with the size of your ravioli sheets. So we've put down five here, so this is gonna make five. I'm gonna pick up our next one and we're just gonna sandwich over. So just good. Make sure you cover them. Next step, we're gonna just go around them just so that there's no removing any air pockets. Just squeeze in around them. Okay, next step, we wanna make this a little bit fancier. Um, so we're gonna use just a, just a basic um, pastry cutter just to get a bit of shape on them. Just flour the sides to make it easier to come in. Pop it in the middle and just press down. Come on, we're good, Daddy. Yeah. Do one. You gonna do another one? Yeah. There. Okay, just make sure it's right in the middle. And push down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just pull the pasta around it. Okay, yeah, all right. I'm gonna come on this side, wait, we'll just wriggle and clear that. Okay. You got it? Good delivery. There you go. Yeah, you just even pop it in there. Great job. Making your own pasta, pasta is such a lovely thing to do with family or with friends. Like, it's really nice. It really brings people together. Nice sense of purpose. So I've just taken that other dough that I've left over. We're going to roll it out again and make more tagliatelle. However, we're gonna cook this dinner just to show basically. Okay, we've got a nice pot of boiling water. We're gonna add in a nice, good, generous pinch of salt. Generous, more. So we didn't put any salt in our pasta as we were making it. We've kind of seasoned the filling reasonably well, but ideally our pasta water should be cooking it in. It should be the similar as seawater, the simil yeah. similar degree of salinity. So we're gonna put in a nice, generous, generous pinch of salt. Don't worry, it might seem like lots, but most of it's gonna end up going down the, the, the drain. Next step, we're going to cook our ravioli. Okay, cool. What do we do? So we got a pot of boiling water that's been salted. Theo Flynn has got his floured, um, what's this thing? Palette knife. Okay, and we go. Let's see. Let's see you do it. Gentle, gentle, gentle. So they are quite delicate, so just be a little bit gentle because you don't want them to tear at this stage. So in they go. Boom. One in. Okay. I can, can I... do it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Just be gentle with it. You'll know your ravioli is ready to cook once it starts to float. So once it's floated, it's an indication the pasta's cooked. It will take, fresh pasta will always take half the time that dried pasta takes to cook. So typically it's around three to four minutes. You'll even see now some of it's starting to float. Uh, but just give it that extra little bit of time. It's gonna be a little bit tender. Uh, easiest way to take it out is to have a slotted spoon and to have a plate. Look, you see there, are they floating? Are they ready? Uh, I have some vegan parmesan and I have some thyme. I'm just gonna scoop out our ravioli. They're all floating. So just take off a little tiny bit of that extra cooking water. 
Uh, I'm going to grate on some vegan parmesan. Do you want to take a few sprigs off? What sprigs? Sprigs, that's called a sprig. And look, you got it that. You go backwards and you just pull them off. Look, you go. Yeah, you got it. And did you know, Theo, time freezes really, really well? Did you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, there you are. Okay, ravioli made by my little beautiful son. We made yeah. spinach and uh, ricotta ravioli. We served it with some vegan parmesan, some thyme, and some of our own vegan basil pesto. Are you ready to try it? You'll see the pasta is really, really tender. Can you Let, feed me, please? I feed you, okay, sure thing. Mm -hmm. But it might be boiling. Okay, you ready? You okay? Is it hot? Is it okay? What do you reckon? So it's very delicate. Mmm. It's really creamy. It's really, the pasta really delicate, it just breaks in your mouth. Nice, by having that little bit of pesto, it just add an extra flavour dimension. Not needed. Very elegant, very light, very delicate. What do you reckon, Theo? More cheese? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay, boom. Okay, there you are, simple ravioli made. We made our own version of fresh pasta, vegan, delicious. Made a beautiful ricotta. I really want to eat more, it tastes so good. They freeze really, really well. So if you do make loads of them, just freeze them. Um, put them in boiling water, three minutes to cook. Bellissimo, molto, molto bellissimo. Okay, grazie. Thank you for watching. This is our second video in Marcheroni or Springuini. Uh, thank you for watching. Send out loads of love and gonna blow a kiss. Bye. You gonna say bye? Bye, world. <laughs> really wait, tasty. Wait, wait. Bye, mom. Bye, May. Bye, Ned. <laughs>